<laughs> Good morning. This is the first day of my 6 a.m. morning routine. I found a life hack that finally helped me wake up this morning, whereas the other like three nights in a row now, I have been unable to wake up. I went on my phone in the morning. Basically what that helps with is getting light into my eyeballs, and then I went from being groggy to awake in like three minutes. I just heard an ambulance. Isn't it too early for people to be dying? Got my coffee. And there's Planet Fitness. I always put my purse on here without a lock. And hope to God nobody, just, nobody steals it. This is my ride. She a cutie. I got Victor an iced coffee and he doesn't want it. Paul's drank it. I love two large iced coffees in the morning. <laughs> now if you ask me, it's a little too sweet. Oh. I've been thinking of how to describe this drink because it's so awful. I imagine this is how they make it. They took little glow sticks, they swam it around in a, a hot water bath, and they took that water and put like two drops of espresso in there, like a cup of vanilla. And a little bit of lemon. Yep. Yesterday was awful. Today was super great. I woke up before the alarm clock. I woke up and then the alarm rang, which means that my body is getting used to waking up at six. Let's talk about the pros and cons of waking up so early. The first pro is that I got about an hour or two of undisturbed quiet time to work on whatever projects and activities I would like. The biggest con is that I'm often sleepy, tired, and not functioning quite properly later in the day. So it's 6.06 .06 and I'm already out of the house driving towards the gym. I'm getting better at this 6 a.m. thing, I really am. Oh look, I'm almost out of gas. I need to let Victor drive this car now. People with husbands will know what I'm talking about. I had several goals while doing this challenge. In a minute, we're going to see what they are and if I met those goals. Good morning. I decided to give my friends a uh, Mickey D's, a McCafe, one more chance. It's pretty good. It's not that great. I wanted to talk about what happened yesterday when I woke up but did not go to the gym. I didn't think it had much of an effect on me. I was like, I'm gonna spend more time reading, you know, doing other things that I like to do in the morning besides going to the gym. But let me tell you, the entire day I felt like trash. It really did have a big effect on me not doing something active in the morning. Concerning goals related to health, I wanted to lose five pounds of extra baby weight and this was a success. I wanted to hit a mile my 11 minutes and 30 seconds, this was also a success. And I wanted to be able to do 10 push-ups, but I failed because my arms are literally like spaghetti. Other goals I had was to read the Bible regularly, I failed. Pray regularly, I failed. Um, and in terms of various projects, I was able to do quite a few things, so I consider this a success. Guys, it is so cold outside. It's 41 degrees. I've been wanting to see the sunrise in Lexington for a long time. So I googled it, but there was one comment on Reddit that said, Waffle House on South Broadway, no joke. There's Waffle House. And this is the view. <laughs> Beautiful, am I right? Sounds like a dying goat one backing up. What shall we talk about this morning? This morning has been a wonderful morning. As most mornings are when I wake up at 6 a.m. And there's just something otherworldly. You you just feel different. You know that you could sneak into somebody's house and they'd still be sleeping and you could tickle them on the nose. That's kind of like that's the kind of thing that you could only do at six o'clock in the morning because once once nine o'clock rolls around everybody's up and you can't go nose tickling anymore this 
video is coming to an end, but I wanted to give you guys some last few pieces of motivation. So I'm recording this about a month or two after I did this challenge. And I wanna encourage you all by saying that waking up early is now so easy for me. It's even relaxing. Although I was probably just like you and struggling with it, now it comes naturally and any day that I want to, I can just get up and get some extra work in. I can easily wake up early. This really was a life-changing experience for me and I strongly recommend that you try it out. Remember, for something like this to become a habit, you need to do it for at least 30 days. You got this. The reason I'm never gonna do it again is because waking up this early is just not sustainable for my lifestyle. But it could be for you and it could make big changes in your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.